when you first open ArcGIS Pro, the very first thing it does is asks you to create a new project. What's a project? And how do I actually use them efficiently? Do I need to have my data ready? Well, when you're first getting started, it's very hard to understand what it's really asking you. Let me show you the way ArcGIS Pro works with the respect of projects and how you can actually use it to make better decisions on managing your projects. Here's an example project, and this project contains many different items. Now, first of all, this one file right here, this .aprx file, is the ArcGIS project file. When you're actually creating a new project in ArcGIS Pro, effectively, this is it. Everything else is referenced to this one file. So you can think of it this way. You can buy a desk for every single project and put it into a room. Obviously, you'll run out of room really quickly if it's, unless it's a, a really big space. So in the room, you buy a desk, you put it down, and then you can actually bring your documents and put them on the desk. That's effectively what this is. It's a project desk. Now, when you bring documents into that desk and you open them up, all you're doing is putting them on the desk. You're not physically changing the desk. So everything that you're seeing around this is on the desk. And the best way to be able to manage a single project is to put everything inside that desk. Don't store it on someone else's desk. Don't leave it in the garage. Don't put it in the kitchen. Put it all on the desk. So thinking of that concept, this one project, everything associated with it, at least as you're learning, should be inside of this. Put it all inside the folder. I can't emphasize that enough. Okay, so let's go back to here. Now, in the new project, what you're doing here is you're starting that APRX file at a certain point. And it gives you some defaults to start with. Technically, you could even start without a template, and therefore it's just empty. It's just an APRX file. But it's nice to start with either a map or a catalog. That way you can get started really quickly in ArcGIS Pro. Personally, I like to manage my documents well, so I start off with a catalog. So I'm going to click the catalog, and then it pops this dialog up. And what this is doing is it's trying to target where you're going to put that APRX file. Okay. So you need to pay attention to this location. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put it into this location on my computer. So I've created a GIS workspace folder and demo pro. And you can see it's empty right now. There's nothing inside of here. So this file is empty. And what we're gonna do is point this to it. So when you click that catalog, what it's prompting here is where it's gonna put that APRX file. So let's go and actually tell it we, want to don't, we don't want to use the default here. We want to use the directory that I've indicated. So you use this little browse button here. And this browse kind of shows you a dialog. It's similar to Windows, normal browse, but it is a little different. Don't get intimidated by it. Just go to the, the local computer, find the drive, and browse to the folder you want to store this in. So I want to store it in this directory here. Now, sometimes if you go into the directory, the OK button goes away. It's just it's a quirk of this dialog. The way to solve that is to go back a directory, select the folder here, then click OK, and then make sure it's actually pointing to the folder you want. So if that OK goes away, just go back one directory and select it. That way uh, it'll work. OK, so the demo pro folder is where we're going to put this. Now, this will be the project name. And that project name is what that APRX file is going to be. So if we take a look at this one, this file right here, this is the name that I'm specifying here. So name it something that makes sense for your project. So I'm just going to call mine the demo ArcGIS Pro video. And I don't like putting spaces in it just because the, I know it's a file name. I try to avoid spaces in file names. It can cause problems sometimes. OK, if I click OK, what it's going to do is create a folder for this project also called this name. If I deselect that, it will create the APRX in this demo pro folder. So you can choose which makes the most sense. I could do either, but I'm going to leave this on to show you what happens. So when I click OK, and I go here, you'll see it created a folder. And 
stop stealing the focus, it goes into here and it's actually created that APRX file. And so you can see the directory name and the APRX file name are the same, but it's also created some other things. It's created a default file geodatabase, which will be the target for any geoprocessing or any actions that you do inside of the project and a couple other supporting files. But that's it, that's what a project is. So this is that desk space that now I can start doing stuff with it. Now, what I recommend you do is move any data you're gonna work with inside of this folder. So let me show you what I mean by that. Now in the catalog here, you do have the option to go and browse your computer. So I can go to this PC and actually browse for data that way. And technically I can open them this way as well. So for example, if there was a shape file stored somewhere or a different file geodatabase, I could actually open it and display it. But I don't recommend doing that. I recommend avoiding using this computer link at all costs. Why? Because when you're first learning how to deal with projects in ArcGIS Pro, it can get confusing where your data are. So what you should be doing is putting all your data into this folder, basically with this APRX somewhere. And that way, Everything is contained on your desk. It's not in the kitchen. It's not on someone else's desk. And uh, what I'm doing is using a metaphor of it's not in a different folder on your system. It's all contained in this one area. It'll make your project much more secure. You can move that project around and it will work properly. Okay, so let's go and do that. And there's a couple of different ways to do that. One, I could use the tools in here to do that. But as I said, try to avoid doing that. What I recommend doing is moving your data from here, let me go ahead and do that. Now here's two data sets, one's a raster and one's a vector. And what I'm going to do is put them into that project folder. I'm gonna use the file explorer to do this, not ArcGIS Pro. So I'm working outside of ArcGIS Pro to be able to do this. Now these were delivered as a zip file to me, so I can go and actually extract them. So you can just right click and we'll extract all. And we're just gonna put them into a folder of the same name. Okay, so now I have all my vectors and their shape files in this case. So now what I can do is simply grab this folder just by cutting it. So we'll cut it out. And then what we're gonna do is put it into my demo folder. So we're gonna put it in to here. So Featherstone vectors are now part of this project. So you can see the APRX is here and then my shape files are in a folder below that. So they're basically sitting on my desk in their own file folder. Now I can look at this inside of ArcGIS Pro. So let's go and take a look at the catalog here. Now what we're dealing with in this case is a folder. So if I go to folders, you'll see this little home folder. That home folder means in this case, this is where the data lives. So if we open that up, we can now see Featherstone vectors here. So if I open this up, I'll actually see the three shape files. And you'll notice that it only shows the actual shape file. Whereas if you go into the actual directory, it contains the entire files. Just that's a single shape file. So ArcGIS Pro hides everything except for that one file. That's normal. So these three shape files are now inside of this folder and they're contained inside of the actual project folder. And that is contained in the home, which you can see there, the little home icon under folders in the project. So that's how you navigate to it in ArcGIS Pro. Let's do this again, but this time we're gonna use a raster. So let me go grab the raster, which is quite big. So this will take a second to extract because it comes in as a zip file. And there it's extracted. And under Featherstone raster, you can see the, the files that are related to the TIFF. So I know they're under this folder. So I'm gonna copy the entire folder. I'm actually gonna move the entire folder by cutting it out from here. And then I'm gonna go back to my other folder where the APRX is, and I'm going to paste it. And now I have the Featherstone raster there also under its own folder inside the APRX. So let's go back into ArcGIS Pro. And let's go back into folders and it's not there. And that's because ArcGIS Pro has already looked in this folder and it doesn't re-look. You have to actually force it to refresh. And there's a couple of different ways to do that. You can right click and go refresh and you'll see it, but you'll notice there's a keyboard shortcut for that called F5. 
and there. And now it's showing me all of the folders associated with that, including the rasters. So once you started working inside of this, all of the data, it's not loaded inside of the project itself, that file, they're still separate. So ArcGIS Pro has this APRX and all of my data are contained within a directory that is the home directory for that project. But ArcGIS Pro's file, you'll notice the, Ar the actual ArcGIS Pro project file is only eight kilobytes. The data doesn't get copied into it. But this whole folder, if I go back one here, this whole folder is effectively my one desk to manage everything. Now let's just take a little bit of a browse of what the project looks like at this point. If you remember when we first started, we started with the catalog. So that's why we have this catalog tab right here. And now that we've copied all of our data into the home folder, and you can see the little home icon right there, you can actually see the rasters and vectors as part of the home uh, folder itself. And again, they're stored in physical directories underneath the APRX file. So we could actually go and open up and take a look at those rasters or vectors right here. And we can look at the geography associated with them. And you can actually see the data now. You can actually start browsing and taking a look at it. The other thing you can do is let's just select all three here. I could right click and add it to a new map. Now you remember what I said? I'd like to start with the catalog because you can always add a map later. And that's what we're doing now. We're adding a map. So now that the map is there, it's added the three different shape files to a single map and it's showing them inside of ArcGIS Pro. So now I have a catalog tab here and I have a map tab here. So it's very easy to be able to add the data once you have it managed and inside the project. And you'll notice I didn't add any of the data to this map by browsing inside of ArcGIS Pro under computer. So again, hide that, don't use it. Stick with just using the project here, and in particular, the folders, and you can navigate to the data that way. So now you have a map up here in the project. So you can see my projects, maps, and you can see this map. And this map, you can see it shows up as a little preview here. Let's rename it because map is generic. It's a type map and map, again, let's just call this one demo map. And now that project contains a single map called demo map. And if I go back to the folders and back into the data, and let's go to the raster this time, we'll see the TIFF. You can actually add this TIFF and you can see it says add to demo map. It's basically trying to add it to that map, demo map. Now, what's really important is as you're making these changes, and now that I've created a map, what's happened is I've made changes to my project, but they haven't been saved. So you'll notice that this is an old file compared to the current time. The current time is about uh, 20 minutes later. So what we can actually do is click save up here. So this saves the project. It saves the way you have things oriented on your desk, if we're gonna go back to that original analogy. So when I click save, what it does is it writes down where everything is and what you've created, in this case, a map that references these individual shapefiles in this case, or whatever data you have that are located inside the actual project itself. Now, if I go back to my physical folder using the Windows File Explorer and take a look at the APRX, you can see it's only 22K. It's gone up a little bit, but it's not that big. So the actual file here isn't storing the data, it's referencing the data, which is contained inside the project folder in this vector folder. And that's why it makes sense to put everything together because then it's all a nice self-contained unit. You're putting everything on your desk. You're not storing it on someone else's. So in conclusion, you can create new projects inside of ArcGIS Pro. And you do that, then copy all your data inside of the actual project folder, then use it inside of a map. 
and or anything else you want to do, your analysis, etc., inside that project. Save the project periodically. Make sure you use the little save icon up here. That will write what you have created, including, for example, how you've configured your maps and what data you've added to those maps. But remember, everything is referenced inside of this APRX file. So where you put it matters. And if you don't put it within its own project folder, the reference may be broken if you moved, copied, or changed the data structure around it. But by keeping everything on your single desk, what happens outside of the project folder doesn't matter. Thanks.